Hi friends. Oh, it's been, it's been a while since I've seen you last. Remember that time I said I, I might be able to get a video out in the time that I've been away? Well, that didn't happen, obviously. Joyous candle nights to you all, or if you celebrate it, Merry Christmas. Yes, this is absolutely eggnog and rum before 5 p.m. I did bring out my trusty tea, set it down, realized it's probably gonna need some harder stuff today. Because today, I honestly don't really have the time or patience to be filming something right now, but it's Christmas Eve and I haven't filmed or uploaded anything in four weeks, so a month, a month. And I feel like if I don't get something to you guys for the holidays, I would be a bad YouTuber. So here we are. I just landed last night from Vancouver. Tonight is Christmas Eve dinner with my brother's family, so I have to put some makeup on my face. So I'm just gonna film it for you because if, in case you have a party you need to go to and you only have uh, like a, an hour to get ready, this is gonna be my no bullshit holiday glam get ready with me tutorial thing. I hope you enjoy. Let's get started. Cause I don't have time for an intro. So I just primed, I used my Urban Decay Quick Fix, which is the one I brought with me to Calgary. And so I've just sort of gotten into the habit of picking it up. So before I go in with any foundation, I'm just going to take my Milk Makeup Bronzer Stick in Blaze on a Pro 1F, which is just an angle brush. And I'm just going to do a little bit of cream contouring underneath my foundation, just so that it's easier to build up on top with powders later. I've been doing this while I've been away because it's sort of a nice easy way to lay down some some contouring on your base so that you're not spending like a zillion years layering up bronzer on top of your foundation. Seems like it's an extra step, but it actually, I think, saves me a little bit of time personally. So in case you're new here, welcome. This isn't my full-time job, so I have other jobs that take precedence over filming. Although, like, that's kind of the dream, is to do this as my primary source of income, even though, like, that's never gonna happen. Anyway, so I've been away. I've been in Calgary. Uh, if you guys don't know, I am Canadian. I live in the Lower Mainland, but I am also an actor that primarily does theater, so I travel a lot for work. For the holidays, I did this little Christmas show out in the prairies, which was really, really fun, really silly, but I had an excellent time. And of course, like when you're on stage, you have to do makeup, so I was wearing a lot of it every day. Like when you do the same thing every single day, you end up getting really, really tired of it. I'm just happy to sit down and like put on a face of makeup that isn't the same damn thing I've done every day for the past like two and a half weeks. But I am using sort of the same base techniques that I was using out there because I was trying to get as fast as possible with my base so that I could spend the majority of the time I had left blending eyeshadow because of course the costume designer wanted me to do something bold with the eyes and do something nude with the lip because the other girl on the show was doing the look that I just kind of assumed I was going to be doing for this show, which is just like a simple wing eyeliner, a little bit of eyeshadow in the crease, and a bold red lip because that screams holiday. So I just sort of packed all that thinking that would be my quick, easy glam for the show. Since our costume designer knows that I do makeup, she was like, I would love to see you in like a really like vibrant, colorful eye and a nude lip. And I wanted to kill her a little bit because nobody wants to sit there and do that for two hours before every show. Blending eyeshadow uh, doesn't take five minutes. You know, it does take five minutes, wing eyeliner. But it's fine. I ended up actually like learning how to create that look in a shorter amount of time than what I'd usually take. And I was happy with it. So today, in honor of not having to fucking do 
plain eyeshadow for once in my goddamn life, we're gonna do some basic ass bitch makeup today. And I'm pretty jazzed on the idea. I'm just going to pump out some light illusion from Flower Beauty onto my hand, taking my favorite foundation brush, which is mm, sadly falling apart, but this is my Pro 4F foundation brush, which I have been using a lot. And I'm just gonna dot this onto my face. This foundation was perfect for being out in a drier climate, which was cold as balls. This foundation really saved my bacon out there. I got tons of compliments on my skin when I wore it. I hated to burst their bubble that it wasn't just my good jeans, because we all know that's not true. Quickly just get this on. It's the fastest. I'm so happy that I discovered these brushes when I did, because putting on foundation with a goddamn blending sponge takes forever. So ironically, my favorite palette of the year, which I think I will talk about more in my yearly favorites, which I think I'm gonna do this year. I think I'm gonna do a yearly favorites video because I had a friend suggest it. So I brought out my Gemini palette with me because I figured I was going to be using like the neutrals and the browns the whole time I was away. But instead I ended up using those green shadows the entire time because it was the only colorful shadow I brought with me. So I ended up wearing all the shades that I love from that palette but I've been doing it for weeks and now I'm like I don't want to see another green eyeshadow look for at least a minute to show you guys the rest of the Gemini palette we're gonna do basically the look that I thought I was gonna be doing the entire time I was on the show which is a bronzy eye and a bold red lip because I think at this point I just kind of need to get it out of my system and I know exactly how it's gonna turn out because it is not rocket science it's definitely not gonna be a revolutionary video today I just thought we could just sit down and panic about last minute holiday shopping together because that's exactly what I'm going to be doing today. Last minute holiday shopping on Christmas Eve. Who am I? Honestly, at this point, if you see anyone frantically running around a goddamn mall on Christmas Eve, just say a quiet little prayer for them and get out of their way. They're doing their best. Yeah, see how it's kind of like, I'm really sad about it. Just taking the same brush, blending out my concealer, which I think is too dark for me, but I picked up the wrong shade at the drugstore when I ran out and it's gonna have to do. I go through these age rewinds though like fucking crazy. I don't know, the applicator just like sucks up a lot of the product, I think. So I end up going through like a shit ton of these. My plan is to edit this and have it up for you for Christmas day. I don't know what I'm thinking, because that sounds like something only a crazy person would try to achieve, but here we are. I'm going to actually dunk into a brand new Maybelline Fit Me Loose setting powder because it's my favorite and I've missed it low these past weeks. I brought with me the Milk Makeup Blur and Set. I have to say, after trying to bake with it for the last like few weeks, I've sort of come to the realization that it's not a powder for baking. It's way too finely milled. It gets everywhere. It just like does not work well with a wet sponge. Works beautifully with a brush, dusting it all over the face, but when you're fucking baking with it, it is not my jam. It is one of the best baking powders at the drugstore. In fact, like I've yet to find like a loose setting powder that bakes as well, even at Sephora. Hopefully it'll work out. I mean, I'm going to dinner in a dark restaurant. It's not like anyone's going to um, care at all. Although my niece is going to be there. She was one of my first subscribers. Aww. I don't know if she watches my videos anymore, but she did used to, and she used to comment on all of them, which I thought was the fucking cutest. And she is the cutest thing in the world. And she's growing up way too fast and I never see her often enough. Yeah, she really is interested in makeup and I hope that like eventually down the line she'll get to start playing with some. I'm not gonna like, I don't wanna encourage her to think that like she needs makeup as like, you know, an 11 year old. She's too young to be thinking that like makeup is the answer to your all your problems and that like you need it as a human being to look slash like feel normal. I only ever started wearing makeup myself because I had to because of fucking dance class and recitals and whatnot. So it's not like I ever thought that it was a requirement. Of course, until I got older and became incredibly self-conscious. <laughs> My under eyes already look like way, way better. I still have some shopping to do today, which I kind of didn't realize until I woke up this morning. Cause I was just like, I'm gonna go straight to my mom's house, go to the restaurant together. Cause I had ordered most of my Christmas presents for my family online. And of course they never arrived. They probably won't until 
fucking January, which is really depressing. However, I also just realized that there was a couple of gifts that I forgot to pick up entirely, and I literally only have a few hours left to remedy that. So this nice, casual, relaxed afternoon that I had planned isn't going so hot. Also, my camera battery is about to die, so I might let that charge a bit while I do my bronzer off camera. Maybe my brows, because you've seen those before. And then I will come back to start the eyes and do anything else that you guys might find entertaining. Be right back. All right, moving right the fuck along. Brows are, they're on. Their brows. We are looking decent. We're gonna play with this today. Since we haven't hit up like any of these shades yet, I figured let's just do a nice, quick, and easy smoky eye that is hopefully relatively painless for the most part. I hope you guys enjoy this for the one day you get it. We put it up the day before I left for Calgary, and I get to see it for one more day. Working out of town has its perks and it also has its drawbacks. One of them being that you don't get to decorate for the holidays. <laughs> All my brushes are dirty also because I um, just got back and I don't feel like cleaning them. I'm gonna take this big guy, my um, pro. It's rubbed off, so I actually I don't know which one it is from the brush collection. Why don't I zoom you guys in? Isn't that nice? I'm such a nice YouTuber. We're going to grab some Luna, just do a quick dusting all over the lid. This is a pretty dusty one, just so you're aware. It does have a lot of kickback in the pan, but it's kind of this like perfect crease base. Basically, we're just trying to make this as painless as possible so you can get on with your fucking holidays. I know lots of people go full glam for Christmas, but honestly, the last thing I want to do during the Christmas holiday is um wear a full face of makeup because for the most part, I just want to sit in my pajamas all day and start drinking at 11 a.m. and argue with my mother over how we do the turkey every year. That does not require a full beat. Lots of people though have to travel for the holidays. They have to go to their in-laws place for dinner. They have to meet people. Lots of people have to get dressed up a little bit for Christmas dinner. And so this is a look for those people who need to look relatively put together and well rested, which I am neither of those things during the holidays, but we can all pretend. The shade is just dark enough that I can't tell if it's blended or not. Moving on, taking a Morphe M514, which I think I need to get like several more of these because it was literally the only blending brush I used while I was away. I'm gonna go into a blend of Lorelei and Polka Dot here. I don't want it to be like like too, too yellowy, but I do want it to have sort of that little mustardy undertone to the brown, just cause it's flattering and pretty and it looks good with red. I also don't want to go too dark. I'm just gonna keep it pretty, pretty simple. So anyway, we're tucking that further into the crease. If you had to tally up every single time a beauty guru on YouTube said crease. I wonder how many that would be. Being like the millions, probably. Every time I say it, I wish there was just another way to define that area. Crease is really your best bet. I'm taking that high up in here just because I feel like when I bring it higher up into here and carve it out a bit into that orbital bone, I get a lifted effect to my eye shape. Although this may not work for every eye shape out there in the universe. This is actually looking pretty cute. Late to the game. Got into Handmaid's Tale though while I was away. It's like watching a train wreck. You can't really look away. Not that it's a bad show. Like it's probably one of the most well-crafted shows I've seen on television ever. Every little nuance, every look, every speck of dust in that show has been painstakingly created. It's like obviously one of the most well-crafted television shows I've ever seen in my goddamn life, but it's so upsetting to watch. It's like rubbernecking when you're driving past a fucking accident. You see blood on the fucking pavement and you're like, hmm, I don't want to look at that. And then you keep looking at it. It's kind of how I feel about Handmaid's Tale. Hot take, I'm sure. Also, I just got a text from my dad saying that a package arrived today. Fingers crossed it's my presents for my family, which would be a true candle night's miracle. Showing up on goddamn Christmas Eve like, who do you think you are, me undies? Who do you think you are? Didn't think you could actually pull
pull it off, but you fucking did. Well done. Proud of you. So that was my plan for them because I am literally wearing their lounge pants as we speak. And um, I just wanted to share the majesty of them with my entire family and friends. So I got everyone I know a pair, which I was like feeling pretty jazzed about patting myself on the back for that one. Shout out to me undies, man. You guys are the real MVPs. I'm going back into Luna just to quickly diffuse this out a tiny bit more. I'm already wasting time because I have to go to a Chapters or an Indigo because that's where you get a last minute Christmas gift for a person in your family that you don't know what to get them because they have actually everything they could possibly want and they tell you every year not to get them anything but as the consumer whore you are you just can't help yourself. Who doesn't want to unwrap something on Christmas goddamn day? Okay? I'm sorry. Favorite fucking thing on the whole planet is watch people unwrap presents. I was talking about this last night at my work Christmas party which like was happening the day I flew in. We closed Saturday night on a two show day. I I finished packing at 4 a.m. that night, flew 12 hours later to Vancouver, and then two hours later was at my work Christmas party after dumping my bags and kissing my boyfriend maybe twice. Anyway, that's looking pretty cute. It's good enough for me. I'm going to grab this brush, and because I know that this eyeshadow is really flaky, I want to give it a bit of a base, so I'm just going to quickly grab some of my soft ochre paint pot throw some of that down onto the lid not like cutting the crease or anything I just want to give it like a fighting chance being careful not to get it everywhere and ruining all the blending I just did like there like like what I just did right now taking a little bit of setting spray getting that nice and wet that's what she said and I'm going to just dip right into Gemini here that is uh supremely flaky so be warned it will go everywhere okay abandoning the brush after about five seconds of trying going directly in with the finger you tell me that isn't the most basic ass eyeshadow look you've ever seen in your life. This is like the definition of basic. If you had to look up basic in the dictionary, there would be a picture of this eyeshadow look next to it. But gosh dang it, if it ain't just real pretty, real festive, man. Ah. Christmas. I feel like I was talking about something before I got really, really sidetracked. I'm really bad at chatty videos, guys. I'm so sorry. I get so distracted. Oh, that's right. I was telling you that it fucking flown in last night, went straight to a work Christmas dinner, came home around 1 a.m., unpacked, repacked. Now I am filming this on Christmas Eve before I need to do the, the, the lastest of minute shopping. This has not been a relaxing holiday so far. It's only been about 24 hours. Such a nice warm brown though. Look at that. It's like fucking chestnuts roasting on an open goddamn fire. Oh my god, good enough. Stop, 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 stop. Stop! All right, hell yeah. Looking pretty fresh. Blending Lorelei and Polka Dot again on a smaller brush. Going underneath on the lower lash line. Smoke it out. If your under eyes crease a shit ton like mine, this is the best way to sort of conceal those creases. It's just by throwing some eyeshadow on them. I just realized this morning what I was gonna get my, my grandmother, my nanny. I've been racking my brain because I had gotten everyone else lounge pants. I kind of just had this feeling that she wouldn't appreciate those as much as my mom and dad would. I don't think she would enjoy the sort of like casual vibe of those pants at all. Even her pajamas are pretty like put together. So I just kind of didn't want to take the risk of like spending an inordinate amount of money on pajama pants that she would never wear. What on earth can I get at the exact last minute that's actually going to be something that she wants that she's going to actually use and it's not just going to be a waste of a gift. Like I don't want to just get her something that she's just never going to use or she's going to re-gift or throw away. Like I just don't want to do that. I started thinking like what does my grandmother do in her like spare time? Like what does she do for fun? Because she paints right? But she has enough supplies to last her the rest of her life which who knows how long that's gonna be. That was dark. As most parents and grandparents usually say don't get me anything because I don't need anything. I'm just doing a quick eyeliner with um the NYX Epic Ink which by the way it's fucking 
great. I started thinking about like what Nanny does in her day to day and I always get a kick out of the fact that she kind of is me in a lot of ways. She sort of in her later years has come to really enjoy her alone time hanging out by herself in her room snuggled up in the bed with her little laptop that she has watching, get this, YouTube videos. She does a couple hours of YouTube a night which I find extremely adorable. I decided I wanted to get her a little lap desk so that she can have something comfortable to rest her laptop on while she's snuggled up watching YouTube vids in bed. I am a fucking genius gift giver and I am so good at Christmas. I picked up a set of these at Sephora while I was in Calgary. Never used them. My lashes that I brought with me for the show got used and abused and they eventually just busted. So I picked up a set of fucking Miami's. How much more basic can you get? I've never tried a Lily Lash. They are soft as fuck. Holy shit, I'm a little alarmed. I'm gonna go do these lashes off camera and we're gonna finish this look like quick fire. They gave me a bit of trouble, but lashes are on. In all honesty, if I'm gonna be frank with you, like I get it, I get that they're pretty, but are they worth $40? I don't know. I'm undecided on whether or not these lashes are worth the hype. What do you think? Comment below. Like literally every beauty guru and their dog wears lily lashes in the style of Miami, so I had to try them at least once. I mean, they're fairly comfortable. This corner doesn't want to stay down. Moving right along. I have half an hour to get this done. I haven't dipped into this in a while, mostly because I've been obsessed with the Flower Beauty Flower Pots blushes, but I think today I need to go with something a bit more neutral, and I'm just tired of the one that I've been using constantly. Dainty. This one. This one's pretty straightforward. I haven't picked these up in a while and I always kind of forget. This really is all the blush you'll ever need in the entire world. I'm gonna go in with a bit of Fortunate, which is a lighter, a more peachy toned blush. I'm gonna try and diffuse that out a bit. Packing that on the tip of my nose. Cause even though it isn't actually that cold here, we're gonna pretend it is. We're gonna pretend that Jack Frost is right up in there. Right across the bridge as well. Because I wanna feel festive, we're gonna go in with Luminoso on the tops of the cheeks as a topper and then let's just do like a chill highlight you know nothing too extravagant i'm gonna take my ColourPop luster dust in strobe globe because it is the prettiest uh okay that's a little more than i wanted it's looking pretty crazy in person although on camera i look fucking great yeah this stuff means business it is some serious shit. Since hopefully this will be up on Christmas, uh, share with me your family's holiday traditions, whether it be Christmas candle nights, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, whatever it may be that you do around the holidays. What's the thing that makes it feel festive for you? Like, do you have a family tradition that you guys do every year that without fail gets you into the holiday spirit? If you're one of those people that doesn't celebrate anything, good for you. You're doing just fine. I'm also gonna take this in and pop it into my inner corners. Put it away, put it, put the highlight away. Put the highlight away, Maddie. Run some brow gel through Matt Brayers. I think we are in the home stretch. Let's throw on some freckles. Ooh, question, favorite holiday dish. For the most part, this season is a season of gathering around very large quantities of food with family and friends. So I want to know what your favorite dish is. For me, I got to go with stuffing. I get it. I get it. It's just bread. But here's the thing. Love bread. Also sausage. I mean, who doesn't fucking love sausage? It doesn't get any better than that. Did I just get mascara all over my lower lash line? Yes. Do I care? No. Because it's three and I need to GTFO. So the last thing we have to do is lips. And of course, what every holiday bronzy eye look needs is a red lip. I haven't been able to use this at all this month when I thought I was going to be using it every day. So we're going right in with Uncensored by Fenty because it is the truest, best red lipstick I own. And with that, folks, Ladies and germs, this is the completed I can't get my shit together holiday look. <laughs>
if I weren't filming it and and telling you step by step it would have taken me probably at least an hour of less time than I actually used this is pretty quick pretty simple you can use probably any palette that you have at your disposal because more often than not someone has some bronzy brown neutral eyeshadows in their collection. I just wanna let you guys know that I'm gonna try and upload something before the new year is out. Comment down below what you think of this look, if you think this is totally executable, if you think you could get this done. I am going to go try and impress my niece uh, and hopefully she will deem me worthy of being on YouTube. Please, if you haven't already, if you are lurking, subscribe. I am back now for the foreseeable future. I do not plan on going anywhere uh, anytime soon. So I'm going to do my best and upload as much content as humanly possible for me. Also, if you want to know every time I upload a new video because I don't have an uploading schedule and I probably never will, hit the bell icon just so you know every time I, uh, I do upload something new because it's going to be sporadic. So if you want to know when that happens, the bell. Please, 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 please. I'm really happy with how this turned out. I feel pretty. I feel festive. I feel like I can go and brave a mall on Christmas Eve in this makeup. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to sign off real fucking quick and wish you all a joyous, joyous candle nights, a happy holidays, and if it suits your fancy, a very merry Christmas. Spend some time with the ones you love, eat a shit ton of food, and hopefully I will see you on the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>